Is there someone who uh, you have a friend or someone you know immediately that is in a coma? Is that, is that for real? You're not, I mean, all right, come on down. Come up here. Who are you standing for, honey? My friend Nick. He crashed his car on Monday morning. This Monday? Is your friend? Nick. How old is he? Traverse City. How old is he? 17. 17. Michigan. Michigan, yeah. All right, baby. You came for him, all right? And we're going to speak that same bubble of the glory. We're going to go in the glory for Nick. Is Ali uh, Sinclair, I think it is, from um, Calcasa? Are you here, Ali? Where's Ali? Where's Ali? Run up here, Ali. Do you remember last night that Dr. Shavda was having everyone who had friends in comas stand up? Well, what do you guess has been happening? So, you have a, we, we prayed for your friend who's in Traverse City, Michigan. And what updates do you have? At 10.32 last night, 11 minutes after you guys prayed for me, he sent me a text message saying that he woke up. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Isn't that amazing? Woohoo! Yay, Jesus! So how long was he in a coma for? Um, since 8.30 Monday morning. So on Monday morning, he went into a coma. He was in a car accident. Yeah. And you were one of the people, like there was a dozen people at the front with friends, family members in comas. And Dr. Shabda prayed for them. And it was like 11.15-ish, somewhere around there when he prayed. Is that he right? He prayed for me. Specifically, I looked at my clock and it was 11.21 when he prayed for me. And at 10, or it was 10.21 when he prayed for me. And at 10.32, I got a text message from Nick saying that he woke up. So he not only got out of the coma, but he sent you a text. So you're going to be going back to school on Monday? Yeah. What's going to happen Monday? Um, on Monday, I pick him up for school in the morning since he doesn't have a car. <laughs> and people are, going to, people are going to be asking, like, what happened with you and all that kind of stuff, and you're going to tell them? That we prayed for Nick and he woke up from a coma.